parents of blind children. How did you explain to him her that Ishii was blind? Well, I'm not a parent but was born blind. I can tell you it wasn't a single conversation. It was an ongoing conversation. There of course is that initial, well you're blind, conversation. Which for as much as I can remember was that I had to do things differently. Not that I couldn't do something but that I'd have to adapt. And that's really the tone my mom took with me the whole time while I was growing up. How do you use Reddit? I have a neighbor with a blind daughter, a D, that I have seen grow up. They also have a son, John, who can see. They have been extremely open with Addie since the day she was born. They always told her she was different from normal people and that life could be somewhat strange for her. Straight from the beginning. Addy, you have eyes but cannot see. Addy, you are blind. Use your feelers, hands, to find your way. The coolest thing I've seen her experience is color. They started with explaining color to her around age 2. Since Addy knew what water felt like. Baths. Swimming pools. They would explain that water felt like the color blue. For sighted folk. Heat or fire felt like the color red or yellow, depending on intensity, so on and so forth. It's amazing to watch her interact with the world around her. She's one of the smartest children I know and what she lacked in sight she made up for with musical talent. At 8, she has perfect pitch, can sing and play piano. Names change to protect the innocent. I will wait the next 10 years for a blind girl named Daddy to be a viral YouTube hit for her Amazon pop idol, or similar program. Performance. My mother has been working with blind and visually impaired children for 35 years. She says the following. The word blind begs more definition. Do they mean total blindness or legal blindness? Most children who are blind are not totally blind and therefore have some residual vision. Assuming that the article is referring to total blindness, percentage of that being very low, it depends on, in my opinion, a child's language level, comprehension, B. Severity of blindness. C. Parents level of acceptance that their child is blind and their ability willingness to explain such a concept. Probably the best approach is to start using the word blind as part of the child's vocabulary language development within their first year. As they grow and their language develops, receptive and expressive, they will begin to understand the concept of blindness. Of course, there are all kinds of resources for parents to help guide them. Pediatrician. Pediatric Ophthalmologist, Early Interventionist, TBVIs, National Organizations for the Blind, and Publications Books, and of course, Parent Support Groups. I believe that starting to use blind vocabulary as early as possible is best. As the child's language comprehension develops and as they get older, grow, they will probably begin to ask questions out of curiosity. Parents should not avoid using words like see or look. Hope that helps a bit. Parents should not avoid using words like look, point your feelers in that direction, son. My son was born with bilateral lens subluxation. He was mostly blind the first 16 months of his life. He could see outlines and color, but no real definition of any kind. The doctor showed me what my son's vision was like. I asked the doctor how my son wasn't walking into walls. His response, I don't know. He had both lenses removed and has had implants in both eyes. He was 17 months old when he got his first pair of glasses. I have a video of that event, and the look on his face is one of pure excitement. When he got a little older, he would ask why he couldn't see when his glasses were off. I just explained that his eyes didn't work right and he needed special help to see. He seemed to take it well. I want to see that video. In the case of my little brother it was not a conversation where my parents suddenly broke the news to him. When you raise a blind kid, you take some precautions, because you know, the sucker is blind, so learning certain things is different and right from the beginning talking age if that's a word. It was explained to him that some things were more tricky to learn, because he could not see, and other people could, but there were no sudden realization. It was just natural, and has always been for him. He has been told from before he can remember. He understands that seeing FX means reaching for exactly what you want on a table and get it instead of feeling your way. Perhaps it helps that he sometimes can see a black shaped circle on a table, in extreme light conditions. And then he understands it just scales from there. For people who can see, I think most all of his blind friends are raised like this, where it is talked about, right from very early age. 
But as kids grow older, and understands more, questions come, and you answer them as they come. It is not one magic explanation. My brother is still a kid, and I assume the last question about seeing has not arrived. I hope it makes sense. I've seen a lot on reddit about blind people and the misconceptions associated with them. I am the child of two blind people. Mum was born without retinas. Dad got retinoblastoma as a 2 year old. Lost both eyes and has no memory of sight. My mum can differentiate between light and dark. But only if the differences are very defined. So she can't see different areas of light and dark on a TV screen. For example, my dad was at the age where he was aware that he was losing his sight but not yet old enough to communicate that through words. I remember him telling me that he associated having sight with pain and fear due to the operating practices of the 60s. So for him, the knowledge that he was blind was easy to comprehend. For him, it was a relief, and learning to manage without sight was perhaps fairly easy as he was still extremely young. My mum had an older sister with the same condition, so she was always very aware. She said that she always knew that others had sight but it never bothered her. She went to a specialist school for the blind and was therefore raised around other people with varying degrees of visual impairment. So it was the norm to her. Colors are mentioned a lot in this thread and I think it depends on the person. My mum is very open to the idea of colors, as in she has favorites based on what she knows. She likes green because it's associated with nature and life, and she likes black because it's dark and mysterious. And when shopping she will prefer clothes that have colors that she likes. On the other hand, my dad doesn't really give a crap about colors. He's a very practical person and whether something looks good or not just doesn't matter to him. More stuff that's been annoying me. The general misconception that blind people can't use technology. I saw braille for android mentioned, albeit in good humor. Both my parents have android smartphones, rooted by my dad, both running the latest versions of Cyanogen mod. My dad uses Windows, Linux and has built his own website singly handedly. There is technology everywhere for adapting blind people to everything, although people tend to overestimate what is needed. For example, my mum is a women's health physiotherapist and has needed no special accommodations in order to do her job. Anyway people are always interested in this kind of thing so if anyone has any questions about them I'm happy to answer. They're pretty awesome. And also obligatory first post on reddit. Sorry for any formatting errors etc etc. I am half blind. Cyclops master race. And my parents have always been very upfront about the entire thing. It's much harder on you that the child is blind. I don't know the difference between my vision and two eyes and will never know the difference. Honesty and education is best. It's crazy to think aliens could have other senses that would be just as hard to describe to us as it is for us to explain sight to blind kids. Blind children know what heat is. They notice a radiator or blow dryer even if they don't touch it. Tell them that there is another kind of heat coming from every object that they cannot feed but everyone else can. Those who can feel that special heat with their eyes. With their special eyes. When I get new glasses I have to be careful. Sometimes my little brother will ask if I get glasses will I be able to see it's always heartbreaking to hear and due to his disabilities he never really understands why. I can't really explain to you what you're missing, but trust me, you're missing like 60% of the world, at least. Of all the senses, sight is pretty much undeniably the best and most useful. Not a parent. But one of my eyes has been killed by a disease as a baby, and my parents slowly told me why I need glasses for the few sensory cells left, and that other people see double the angle as me. What wasn't explained, but I figured out over a long time, was that other people can judge distances, and see that screened media looks different to real life. I imagine finding out you're fully blind would be the same process of slow explaining, and deductive reasoning, just in case people wonder why my case is relevant. Guess what, kid, you're blind. Oh my god, what does this mean? Well, you won't be able to see that this post isn't marked as serious. He isn't too serious about anything. My 6 month old son was born blind. I've never thought about how to explain it or that I will someday need to. Thank you for asking this question. And thank you all for your responses. Good luck Sonic. It's a good question. I have a similar conversation to have with my son in the future about his disability. 
How can mirrors be real if your eyes aren't real? Such wisdom. I always wondered what it feels like to be blind. Do blind people just see black? Like when we close our eyes or doesn't their brain even know that they have a pair of eyes and there's no input at all? Assuming both your eyes function sufficiently, close your right eye while keeping your left eye open. What you see out of your closed right eye is somewhat like what blind people see. I am legally blind. The only explanation about it I remember having was when my mom told me about things like leaves, rocks, blades of grass, etc. I remember finding it incredibly frustrating that my friends could see things that I couldn't. Son, you ever wonder why you can't see? Yeah, well, that's because you're blind. I guess you'd first have to explain sight in terms of their other senses. Like telling them it's like hearing where things are, how big they are, what shape they are etc. I wouldn't bother with trying to explain colors. Maybe when they're old enough to learn about light waves or something. Then deliver the news that they missed out on a whole big part of sensory input. My brother is autistic and I still don't think he knows he is. Better to let him live happy than think he is different from everyone else. It used to be a fear of mine that I'm actually mentally handicapped and everyone is just being nice so I can fit in. Then I realized that if I was mentally deficient I'd be doing pretty good in life. My son is blind. Possibly some light perception. But we don't know yet. He had very severe op as an infant. He's too young to really understand. But what I think is going to be more challenging is to explain that not everyone is blind. Don't we all just assume that our normal is normal? I was born blind in my left eye. Having always seen this way, I didn't know anything was wrong for a couple years. I remember asking a couple times if I could have some glasses, but they said no. In kindergarten, everybody in the school had to get an eye test. The nurse at the school sent me home with a paper from my parents that said I was blind and should probably get glasses. Then they asked me why I never said anything about it. I would start by explaining the loss in a way they could understand, by asking them to think about if they didn't have the ability to hear or smell or touch. I would explain light, how it comes from the sun in waves, don't even start, and when it is absorbed or reflected it gives off what we know as color. From there I would head to my secret lab and begin working on my ocular implants binoculars. I didn't, he just thinks that he's normal, and that is like how everyone is. If they were born blind, they would have learned to adapt to the world around them naturally. When they got older either the parent or child would bring it up. All you can tell them is that the world has light that creates shapes for people to see and we guide ourselves by the shapes we see. If they ask what a shape is, you can make them hold a circular object and explain that the shape is round. But instead of just feeling it, we can actually see it. Blind doesn't mean they can't see in a sense. There have been reports of blind people having dreams, and seeing visual stimuli. It's just different and it's not seeing in the conventional way. Also there was a study where blind people took a hallucinogenic drug and reported visual stimulation. If anybody is wondering how the heck I know this, my mom's a special needs teacher. She started off as a nurse, got a teacher's degree, specialized in early childhood education, then learned sign language and braille. She worked in a provincial school helping kids with learning difficulties. These kids would travel in order to live at this school, to get the special learning methods the school offered. She then transferred to a more local school that teaches kids with severe handicaps. It's an elementary school in Canada, that helps kids. Most of these don't have a life expectancy over 25. They are in wheelchairs. 99% of them do not speak but they still communicate in their own way. She's currently a head teacher, with an assistant and two nurses working under her. Her job is to increase their quality of life through learning. Most people don't understand how these kids could learn, or anything, and the way they do by stimulating their senses, sight, touch, sound, etc. A select few have the physical mobility to learn to press a button or move their hand a certain way in order to convey a basic message such as hunger. Some of them come over on the weekend, so that their parents can go on a date, or take their other child out for their birthday, as taking care of these kids is a full-time job. As far as I know the reports of the blind that dream and such are from those that were not born blind, so they are able to picture images and or dream because at one point they were able to see. I've never heard of born blind people having dreams or a visual imagination. Parent, can you see anything? 
Child, I can't see crap. Parent, you're blind. Have a seat on my lap, son. There's something I want to explain to you. You see, you know how you can taste, feel, smell. Well, there's another sense that people have. Your mother did not have this sense though. It's called common sense. And that is why she stabbed you in the eyes when you were a baby. Because of this you will never be a pirate. You know how when something makes a noise, you know where it came from? And when you can touch something, you know what it feels like? Just like how sound vibrates from the source to your ears, light does the same thing back to our eyes. Sight allows you to use those waves to see where something is coming from, and to understand what the object is like, like feeling does. I was born half blind, as in one eye does not see. My parents tell me that when I was young, I noticed that I had a whole half of my face in the mirror that I could not see properly, an asymmetry in my vision. I had an extra eye but couldn't see with it, and a side of my face that I could feel but not see when I moved my hand over it. I told my mother and she started to cry. I was always used to it, I guess, but it made shaving the dark side of my face difficult. I was friends with a blind girl in school for a couple years. We were still fairly young. No one one had really sat down with her and told her things like, color, people and how things were done when you could see. The two moments I remember best are sitting in class with smelly markers as a tool to reach a color. She decided yellow was her favorite color. Another was when I had to explain that girls don't normally change underwear in a school change room. Only shirt and shorts. Somehow that ended up with her asking what color her skin was. She assumed she was white. I could tell she wasn't impressed to find out she had rather dark brown skin. She was Indian. It was hard being friends. I stopped really spending time with her once I made new friends. I was young and she held me back. Literally. My middle school band director was blind. I don't know to what degree but I know he read braille. He could write. Put stanzas on the board and write notes accurately. He taught a group of 50 children how had never played their respective orchestra instruments how to play music. I'm still amazed to this day how he accomplished it but wow. What a guy. Unfortunately he passed away a few years ago but I still admire him to this day. It would be very difficult to do without tears the first time I think. Catch. She told us. Age 4. We though she just didn't have a lot of words for things like cows and horses, and anything far away. The kids have no sense of entitlement to sight, if they come packaged without it. Not such a big deal. She's 23 now. It's all good. You need to put, serious, in the title, not the body. Just wondering, but haven't they cured blindness? Can't they replace the retina or eye entirely now with surgery? I would imagine it being extremely expensive but nonetheless curable. One day they told me I'd never have vision in my left eye. Not much more. And it wasn't all that bad since I was 15 and all. Kind of dropped the ball on that one. Bet you didn't see that one coming. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.